hi guys welcome back to my channel and welcome if this is your first time here my name is Aisha and please don't go without subscribing I do videos about my life's journey um, just my life's experiences being a mom being a student and all of that so yeah if you want to know a little bit more about how a young girl is juggling all of these things together then you definitely have to subscribe to join this family of mine so So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about um, being black and studying in Istanbul because if you don't know or if you're new here, I'm a student, um, an international student studying in Istanbul, Turkey. So yeah, if you know about Turkey, you know that it's not really a black saturated country. So yeah, a lot of people tend to ask questions. I get questions a lot about, sorry about my last name, the sun is it's acting in the mud. <laughs> so I... I get a lot of questions from people um, via internet, um, you know, in person, and just people. Yeah, always asking about Turkey, what it's like, I'm sorry, what it's like in Turkey. Please, if you get any noise, I'm feeding my baby. Oh my God, I'm feeding my baby. So if you get any noise, like somebody's, she's eating. <laughs> So yeah, if you want to know a little bit more about what it's like studying in Istanbul, like I said, I get these questions a lot, what it's like being there, how is Turkey, like is it a nice place and all that. So yeah, I'm going to be doing an Istanbul series talking about different things about Istanbul so that, um, you know, I can give you clarity and, you know, just help you make a better decision if you want to study there or not. So today's video, this is the very first Istanbul series or living in Istanbul series and I'm talking about being black and studying in Istanbul. So um, the very first thing is you should know that Turkey is not a, a black saturated country. Like I've said before, it's not black saturated. Like there are not so many blacks there. Um, there are a good number of blacks, but not something that you see in maybe Europe and um, in like America, for example, the United States. There are not as much blacks as you would think that you will find there, like in these other places that I've mentioned or in like other countries. Yeah, Turkey is not just a black saturated place like that. And um, so coming to study them. You should not expect to come and meet your black brothers or your African brothers and sisters and da, da da da. So if you go to a school where you don't have a black classmate, you move. For example, myself, my first semester in my first year, I had no single, Af no, I had an Af I had African classmate, but I never had a black <coughs> classmate. I had African classmates, but you know there are some Africans that kind of look mixed-ish. I had African classmates like there were I think four, of, you know, like three of them they were from somali but if you know somalians you know they are kind of mixed -ish. they look mixed um they have curly hair they have mixed kind of looks and i have a friend she's libyan if you know libya you know that they kind of look like white people so yeah i was the only like black person black person in my class on to the second semester where i had a, 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 i had a course where i attended with another guy who was in nigeria so we were basically like the only two black people in the whole of that school so yeah that's it um but it does not affect your 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 learning or your studying studying is good and everything you just will not have you know like african friends african classmates like you are used to having back home so that's you should take very seriously <laughs> into consideration so the next thing i'll talk about is housing of course you cannot talk about going to study somewhere without talking about housing you need a roof over your head um so this is a little bit tricky for me because when i went to turkey i had somebody to stay with um my then boyfriend who's now my husband was already there so um i really didn't know much about the stress of you know maybe getting a house looking for houses and all that but um i know of hostels because when i just came um they, they gave this this fly out and things like that they were dividing them to you know freshers if you don't know what freshers is freshers is basically like new students or year one students in the university so yeah they, they were dividing they were, they were dividing flyers to freshers um advertising hostels and just things like that apartments um for students studios and all that so yeah there are definitely studios if you want to stay alone um 
some people um some people tend to 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 do this joint renting they pay money they stay together they stay together and they pay money um they join their rent they join their bills and everything together so yeah and also housing is not very expensive compared to europe compared to the united states housing is not very expensive turkey is kind of it's affordable and it's okay so when you hear me say affordable in this video just know that i'm comparing it to europe and i'm comparing it to the united states all right so I'm comparing it to africa africa it's compared to africa it's kind of expensive but compared to these places i mentioned it's affordable so yeah housing is good housing is not bad at all and yeah so you can get a hostel um you can get studios you can always find those things online they're online they have websites you talk about school you talk about transportation right <laughs> you're not walking to school <laughs> there's no car that's to carry you to school so yeah they have um what they call metro buses and they have metro bus carts there are the regular carts for you know regular people and there are like there are metro bus um, metro bus carts for um students why metro bus cards for students have discounts metro bus cards for regular people do not have discounts so of course being a student you want to take the metro bus card for students so um the metro bus card for students i think it's like one point something lira and then the uh the regular one should be like three point something turkish lira i'm not sure about that because I, I i don't have it I don't use it so I'm not very sure but that that's about what it is and also there are taxes you know to ease mobility for those who do not want to you know enter the buses and you know rob skin with people or be with many people and all that yeah there are bus and um, there are there are taxes not very expensive too it's moderate but recently I know that the money it's okay mama thank you for gracing us with your presence <laughs> all right so um like i said there are taxes which are also moderate the money was moved from 10 lira the fixed amount was moved from 10 lira to i think 13 lira okay fixed amount is because when you enter the taxi depending on the distance you're going to um say if you're going to a short distance the fixed amount you pay is 10 lira even if the meta reads five lira so if you are going to a longer distance and your money is more than 10 lira you will pay the amount that shows on the meta which is if it's 15 lira you pay 15 lira is it if it's 20 lira you pay 20 lira but if you are going to a shorter distance which you like amounts to like six lira you will pay 10 lira because 10 lira is like the fixed amount so yeah that's it for the taxes um food is also very very affordable in turkey and um uh they have they have um government stores um, stores that are owned by the government for you know average and possibly poor people you know who cannot afford to shop in those other you know um supermarkets that have like in those other supermarkets that have like um you know foreign things expensive things and all that yeah so they have um stores for average possibly poor people too so you can always shop for cheap even in even in the even in like so even in the stores where um you know the, the regular stores which are termed expensive it's not as expensive that you cannot afford so if you are working on a budget you can shop from the government stores if you can buy what you can buy you can shop from the regular stores it's not that expensive and also they have good food turkey people um, turkish people have good food um it's quite relatable to african food some of it because they eat a lot of rice and um, they eat a lot of spaghetti pasta and things like that they have dishes like that um their food is their food is good their food is relatable um to an african to an african person and also they have you know restaurants and their restaurants are not expensive they're not very expensive too the restaurants are affordable like a student can afford it but if you are going to the bougie places like the Istines, um Beshiktash, those areas like the town areas um american people call the happening places downtown you know that's like their own downtown istanbul kind of place so if you're going to those areas expect to pay 
you know good money for food but if you are shopping in these other you know like regular places the food is really very affordable and also there are african restaurants if you feel like you want to eat home food or home dish or whatever the african restaurants that you can always turn to i'm sorry but at this point you only have to see her <laughs> So yeah, if you are the person who likes a town because of its, you know, many hangout spots, then you're in luck because Istanbul is that place. It has lots and lots of fun things to do, fun places to visit. If you know about Turkey, you, then you definitely know about the Ottoman Empire. And I think the Ottoman Empire was, it crossed in between, like it had boundaries in Istanbul. <laughs> see this is not a history class but just know that <laughs> istanbul has lots and lots of touristic sites where you can visit and just have fun if you wish and also for those who like their enjoyment like drinking nightlife all that good stuff there are lots and lots of nightclubs in Istanbul. Um, there are, you know, Turkish nightclubs if you want that. There are African nightclubs, which I know that's what you're looking out for. So yeah, Istanbul is has got you covered. <laughs> there are nightclubs. There are nightclubs for Africans, um, and um, they have lots of beautiful cafes. They have beautiful lounges. They have all those you know really nice places where you just want to relax and have fun with friends so you, in fact if you get bored then you just want to get bored because there are lots and lots of things to do as far as the city is. i know every african is always concerned about when they think of you know leaving the country and you know um traveling going to the white man's land um or falling bush you always have this question in your head like Okay, is this country a racist free country? Are there racists there and all that? Um, what I'll tell you is based on my experience right now. You know, it may have not happened to somebody or maybe some somebody's own experience may have been different from what I have experienced. Um, I've not really had, you know, maybe um, any kind of altercation with a Turkish a Turkish person because of you know like it was not made you know it was not made in a way that you can retaliate it was it was done but it was done in in a manner that okay i did not call your name i did not point you out i did not do this so you know like you walk into the library to read or to study there is space on a certain table and the moment you sit on that table everybody on that table leaves yeah that has happened to me but i mean i felt bad honestly i did i felt bad i felt like like wow this is real you know you just always hear it and hear it and hear it until you really you know experience it and i just was like wow okay i just did what i had to do i continued doing my stuff that i had to do i was not really bothered like maybe i should start crying or something i just felt bad like wow so this is like really real you know but I mean we move so yeah i've also had incidents in the bus where in a school shuttle because we have like a school shuttle that takes us from campus to campus so yeah in our school shuttle me and my friend like i said i have a libyan friend she's libyan she's african but she's not black like me so yeah me and her were sitting and we're talking and then some two white girls were standing in the shuttle and then they were talking about us in turkish talking about me being black in Turkish so she understands Turkish and then she told me what they were saying and I was just like Whew. like may God forgive them I don't even know what to tell them I don't even I cannot be bothered I cannot be bothered so yeah but I don't know some people say they have never you know really experienced it like experience it but I know of people's stories where you know they treat you in a different kind of way and then they'll treat a Turkish person right in your presence in a different kind of way so yeah I, I just think that racism is something that happens everywhere not just um in the abroad it happens everywhere or maybe it has a different name but it happens there's that discrimination you know towards people because of what they look like because of who they are because of what they have there's always that discrimination thing so yeah um, maybe racism is a little bit too harsh but you experience that kind of thing at least once because even in the bus somebody will be moving because they don't want you to touch them but you cannot be bothered right i mean 
black is king isn't it <laughs> so yeah you cannot be bothered which one is your own melanin is popping <laughs> so yeah but expect don't don't think it's a it's like a racist or discrimination free zone you would definitely experience it at some point or the other guys i survived this video <laughs> i survived another video with this girl she's not going to just let me film in peace so yeah thank you guys for tuning in thank you guys for coming back and thank you for tuning in um if this is your very first time i'm happy to have you here and i hope you stay so please subscribe if you haven't already by this time please subscribe and join us please i'm on my way to 1k so i need the subs okay i really really need the subs um so yeah that's it and um if you have any questions you can leave them in my comment section or you can just come to me ig um um just you can follow me on ig and leave your questions on ig you can leave your questions in the comment section and i will definitely be answering them in my videos i will definitely do more videos about istanbul so if you have any questions you have any worries just let me know i am going to you know try as much as possible to answer all of them um yeah i think that's it for this video and like i said i'm doing an istanbul living in istanbul series kind of video just giving you guys some um, insights and infos about you know coming to study there coming to stay there what it's like so yeah please subscribe and i'll see you in my next